So, you're ready to start a new project on PixDirex. In this video, we'll show you how to prepare and create your documents, or open an image to begin editing. On the Pixlr main page in your browser, select Pixlr X. You can also type in the address pixlr.com slash x to go directly to the Pixlr X dashboard. Let's start off by creating a new blank document. Click on Create New from the menu to your left. If you are unsure of what size to begin with, Pixlr offers presets for a few commonly used screen and web sizes. There are also options for social media such as Instagram and Facebook posts. For example, let's go with Instagram. Give the project a name, let's call it IG Post, and as selected, the dimensions are 1080 pixels for both width and height. Should you have a specific size in mind, you can also type in the custom dimensions here as well. The background function refers to the background color of the document. If you leave that out and click on create, your new project will then load in the editor as a blank document with a checkered background, usually to represent transparencies. Let's go back and create another with the background function on. Pick a color and click on create. There. The background is now colored. You can later change the background color from the properties menu as well. For images, there are a few methods to open or import them into Pixlr X. The first is to click on Open Image in the dashboard to locate and open images on your computer. Dragging and dropping an image directly into the dashboard works too. If there was a project created previously in the same session, it will still be active. So there will be a prompt to ask if the image being opened would either be for a new separate project or add it to the current one. Select Add Current to have it load in the active project. You can then use the Arrange tool to further set up and position your image. If Create New is selected and the new image is potentially large, there will be a recommendation to resize your image to either Ultra HD, Full HD, or Web. Since everything is being done on the web browser, this option is best to minimize lag and provide a better working experience. Alternatively, you can also type in your own custom size values within the text boxes here. Click on Apply to load your resized image in the editor as a new project. The load URL function means that you can copy and paste the link from any image on the web to open in Pixlr X. Lastly, you can also use any of the images from the bottom row here to start editing right away. That's it, and now you're all set up to create something amazing.